some of my efforts here to have a little fun with a uh, winter carnival medallion I bought a while back. I actually made a silicon mold of it. I sent sold the medallion. Probably took a hit of about 20 bucks. I think I paid 110 for it. Sold it for 90. So this is my silicon mold. I just basically laid the medallion down flat on a piece of glass. Had this plastic pipe. Poured in the silicon, flipped it over, the medallion still in place. This quarter's a simulation of the medallion. And I just put another pipe over that. I poured the silicon in, so I got two halves of a mold. And then, one thing I should have done when I did my, I didn't realize these plastic pipes are really not that accurate. So I should have made registration marks right inside the room of the, the mold here just so everything lines up a better. Otherwise, it doesn't take much for get an eccentric look to your coin. The front might look bad, good, but the back might be slightly off center. So I would next next time I ever do this, I would do that differently. So my idea is I'm going to encapsulate these reproduction medallions in clear plastic. That's one of my efforts. Some of my earlier efforts, I didn't degas the plastic with a vacuum pump. So you get a lot of a lot of bubbles that way. So I didn't think I didn't like that effect. Actually kind of detracts from the the look. So once I uh, figure out how to kind of degas the plastic this is somewhat degassed. This one I put it in a, a vacuum chamber for several minutes. Get a really nice clear looking medallion that way. And I might go ahead and at some point add some colored uh, confetti to the plastic around the edges here to give it a little, a little more uh, festive look. So it's just some of these plastic medallions that I made with the silicon mold. I didn't realize I should have treated the, the silicon with a uh, releasing agent or even this gold color basically dust. You put it inside the mold and it actually otherwise what happens is you end up giving a kind of a matted look to the, uh, the surface of the medallion once your mold gets fragged. That's what happened here. This isn't nearly as glossy as this one. So I wrecked a couple molds I made. But uh, so that's. I'll go ahead and uh, just take one medallion most of the way through the process. Since I made these a couple of years ago, these uh, silicon molds, I don't can't really reproduce that without a big effort, and I don't have the medallion anymore. So. I'll just uh, continue on with how I made this particular, went to this uh, bigger kind of medallion in a medallion look. And again, I, I kind of like the uh, the quality of this one. Looks professional, no air bubbles in there. Or bubbles, I don't know if they're air bubbles. But whatever comes out as a gas when you put it in a vacuum chamber need to do that. That's the big crucial step for clear plastic so you don't get that ugly bubbly look. So go ahead and make another video on how I went about that.